hello friends welcome to FreeCAD tutorial and in this tutorial we will learn how to fold sheet metal with the help of a line in FreeCAD so first I will create a new file then I will switch to the part design workbench and I create my body and then I on my origin plane I will select the top plane and create a sketch and here I will uh, create a rectangle and then I off my origin plane and now I will make it symmetric so I will select the symmetricity constraints select these two points and our origin points so our sketch is symmetric now I will give the dimension to the 300 mm horizontal and now vertical dimension I will give 150 now I will close the sketch and I will switch to the sheet metal workbench if you have not installed the sheet metal workbench then go to the tool then add on manager and search for the sheet and here you will get the sheet metal workbench install it now select the sketch click on the base wall icon so you can see that our base feature is created now click on the base features give the thickness 5 mm and radius 5 mm so here is our base feature with a 5 mm thickness now we will fold this with the help of a lines so switch to the part design select the face and create a sketch and I will project these two outer edges I will create a line now I will give the dimension I will give the 50 mm and I will close the sketch now we will fold this our base feature with the help of uh, this line so for this select the face and then select the sketch by pressing the control key now switch to the sheet metal workbench and click on the fold icon so you can see that uh, our part is folded now click it and uh, change the re inside radius to the 5 mm so you can see that radius has been changed now we will uh, fold in opposite directions for this select the face switch to the part design create a sketch and project outer edges create a line and now give the dimension to the 50 mm as our previous flange now close it now switch to the sheet metal workbench select the face by pressing the control key and select the line and create on the fold icon so you can see that uh, it has been folded in other direction now change the radius to the 5 mm as we did for the previous flange now you can see that we have a folded in two directions now we will learn how we can create a development view so select the face and create the development view icon and here you will have the options to choose NC or DIN so I will keep with the NC and uh, keep the K factor as it is now from here I will uh, select on uh, DWG or DXF option click on OK so you can see that uh, 
development view and the DXF sketch has been created here now you can export this sketch into the DWG forms select the sketch and click on export now you will search here where is the DWG options so it might be at upper site let me find out it okay so I have scrolled up so here is a DWG and click on the save to export it now you can off the sketch and you will also have the solid form of your development view now I will off the development view and I will activate my original sheet metal part so this is how we can uh, fold a sheet metal part with the help of a uh, line